You will own nothing and be happy. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I, I'm going to say this, right? Uh, we don't own anything. Uh, anything can be taken from you, okay? Let me let me explain. I, I myself, I, I have property, okay? And I'm kind of being a hypocrite when I'm saying this, but I, I do have some properties, full disclosure, okay? Uh, some of them, I've lived in them. Uh, now, I, I, I earn rental income off them, okay? But I'm, I know that I don't own them. I don't own any properties. I don't own any cars. I have cars. I don't own them. Uh, I have material things that I have in my possession. I don't own those either. And let me explain. Let's start off with our biggest ticket item is a house, right? Let's, let's start off with that. Do you really own your house? Absolutely not. And I'm going to tell you why. When you go to borrow money for a house and a mortgage for a mortgage and they give you a mortgage, right? Let's say the house is 300,000. You put 10% down. You give them 30 grand, right? Oh, I gave them 30 grand. Cool. Now they they finance the other 270,000. You have to pay monthly payments on that depending on your credit and your debt to income and stuff like that. They give you interest based on those things. Your your past and if you have a good past, they'll give you interest rate, right? Then you, they give you 360 months, which is 30 years of mortgage, whether it's fixed, variable, however you want to do it, right? You get the house, you're paying your payment off. You say, you know what? Uh, I've been making extra money at my at my job. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay this house off early. And you do. You don't do a 15-year mortgage. You did a 30-year mortgage, uh, which is a lower payment than a 15-year mortgage. And you pay it off early. Let's say you pay it off in 10 years, right? You own the house now. It's yours. You've, you, you go to the bank. They give you... They give you the deed. You, you, you own it. It's yours. Um, but you still have to pay taxes. Who do you pay taxes to? Who Who's the person that you have to pay that tax to every single year? You know who it is. What will happen if you don't pay that tax? Uh, if you don't pay that tax, let's just say uh, you will find out very quickly who owns your home. I don't care how much you put into it. I don't care how many years you've been paying the taxes. When you don't pay your taxes, regardless of what the situation is, they will come get your home, period. They don't care about your credit score. They don't care about how many bank payments you made. They don't care how good of a person you are. They come take your home. Simple as that. Let's talk about a car. Now, I know most of you thinking, they don't, they don't, nobody owns my car but me. Well, same thing. You get, you get a loan or you pay it off, whatever, right? You get, the, you get the pink slip to the car. It's yours. What happens if you don't pay? Because some states have property taxes. You don't pay those. Same thing. They take them, right? Let's just say you you decide, you know what? I don't, I don't want to pay uh, insurance or I don't want to pay my registration. You don't have to have insurance in some states, but most states you do, okay? But let's put that to the side, all right? Every single year, you have to register your car. Do you not? What do you think is going to happen? You decide to say, nah, I'm not, I'm not going to register my car. You'll drive it. After a while, they're going to start sending you things in the mail saying you owe this and all that. And you may get away with it for, for a while, but eventually you will get pulled over. And when you get pulled over, what do you think is going to happen? You think they're going to say, oh man, you're, you're an unregistered uh, vehicle. You have an unregistered vehicle. You know what? Go ahead and try to pay for it when you can and we'll see you later. What do you think is going to happen if you don't pay those registrations? And who do you pay those registrations to, by the way? To the DMV. And who owns the DMV again? If you do not pay, I don't care what it is. If you don't pay that registration, eventually they will come get that car. Right? Let's talk about, I don't know, furniture, or any, you know, whatever the next big thing is that you have. Uh, if, if you owe money to anybody or you're in some kind of trouble, they can come take that too. Right? If your furniture and stuff was in that house, they can they can repossess everything. They could take everything from you. My point is, you own nothing and you'll be happy. You see the you see the mantra here. It's always been like that. It's never ever not been like that. So don't get it. Don't ever get it twisted. Right? I'm I, I've been thinking now because I want to get a homestead. Right? I, I really want to say you know what? Screw this and I want to be off the grid. And but I was thinking like. The only way you can truly be off the grid, you can't have any electronical device, devices. You can't 
be on the internet. You can't do it. You can't have a phone. Trust and believe. <laughs> they know what you're doing if you got one of these. They know where you're at and they know what you're doing. And just by turning it off, that doesn't mean anything, okay? So you can't really live really truly off grid. So if I buy a house and I own a house and a homestead because I'm, you know, trying to get away from everybody, you know, build my own stuff, have my own chickens and everything else, the rules still apply. Yeah, it's better than being in the city and if something goes down and, you know, you know, not going to the grocery stores and, and all that stuff is better. But at the end of the day, uh, you'll own nothing and be happy. I'm making this video to open your eyes and give you different options, right? Some people think that home ownership is the, is the American dream. And for some people, it is. It is, a, it is a big deal once you've had one if you haven't had one. I'm not discounting that. But no, but no that nothing is truly yours. Uh, if you mess up, they want to take it and uh, they'll show you who's boss real quick, man. And you got to pay. Everything you have, you have to keep it paid for. You have to keep it going and the money to them. Do you think they need money, these people? They print it. What, what do they need money for? It's not about the money. It's about control. And, and it's always been that way, you know? And uh, I'm just waking up to it. Uh, everyone needs to wake up to it. And I, I think we need, a, I, I think we need a whole new set of rules, man. I, I really do. Of course, everybody should pay their fair taxes and everything else to pay for to teachers and stuff like that. Uh, but the way this system is, it's, it's not, it's not right. Uh, it's modern day slavery in my opinion. And I will make a specific video of why I say that. All right. So anyways, uh, you'll be happy and own nothing according to these people. Uh, but make sure the things that you do have, uh, again, freedom and decentralized assets. That's the name of my channel. Uh, free yourself by freeing your mind, get as smart as you can and open your, open your eyes to things. And the best freedom that you can have is breaking away as much as you can, decentralizing your assets and decentralizing your thoughts. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Just a food for thought. Um, do what you gotta do, do what you guys gotta do and keep your head on a swivel. You guys wanted this. I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love.